this is my audio IF stage for the TV. Um, usual method of construction, double sided PCB board, uh, holes drilled to hold the valves and coils and components on one side, valves on the other. We have an IF input by a piece of coax, uh, input tuning EF91. Come on, out. In fact, it's a CV5377, which is one of the later military EF91s. Very easy to get hold of. Um, so that provides first stage gain to a second uh, transformer, um, IF stage, to another EF91. And then the output from that is a, a final coil which feeds this, which is in fact um, a CV4007. Come on, pull out. Um, which is a shortened and again military version of the EB91. So all these valves are all 6.3 volt heaters. That's uh, basically what I like working on. Uh, valve screening from all. It can be quite a lively little valve, this EF91. On the bottom side, <coughs> um, three wire feed, it's um, green, blue, and red. The green is a common for both the valve LT and the blue is the 6.3 volt feed, and the green is also common to the HT feed. It's running on about 220 volts. Um, not the best construction. The, so we have input EF91, transformer, EF91, transformer, CV4007. Now what I've actually got here on the output side is I've used a, another small IF can. And this was checked at about 17 millihenries and capacitor down to deck and a, a 10k load on that stage. That's a chop off the top end response so that's hopefully um, got a 3 dB point of about 8kc so I'm not expecting to pass anything too much over 8kc or at least start to roll off that. The reason for that is the line transformer on a uh, 405 TV is about 10125 uh, hertz, 10.125 kilohertz. Uh, so I want to make sure I'm trying to stop the line frequency coming through. And then that's followed by a high pass filter, which is made up of a 4K7 and a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. Um, that has something like about a 350 hertz high pass 3 dB point so again that's to try and stop the frame time base coming through to some extent. It's not going to do it perfectly but it, it does a reasonable job. And this yellow wire is the audio output. As the sound IF doesn't have any output valve or output transformer I'm going to be using this uh, little home constructed amplifier in its own little box. It's only got a small um, speaker, about two and a half inch, three inches, can't remember now, uh, but basically built into a baffle box to actually give uh, a reasonable amount of volume. Uh, it's actually based on one of the first amplifiers I actually built getting into this uh, project, um, which is this, which is a small audio amplifier based on some ex-military valves, 6 or 2 ones, which are each, each one is a, a twin triode. So that's basically is an input buffer and amplifier. So uh, amplified first, then back out to the volume control, then amplified again. That then drives these valves in push-pull. Um, because each one is double triode, I've paralleled off the 
two triodes in that one, paralleled off the two triodes in that one into a homemade transformer that then drives a 3 ohm speaker and this again inside, this is actually built inside the bottom section of this and uh, it's powered off a small again 12 volt to HT derived power supply I find the little power supplies which is one of them is the that's what I actually power up to zoom in on that That's the type of thing I actually use. Uh, I have a little fan cooling it when I'm drawing anything of any particular current. It will go up to about 25 milliamps, but the transistor gets rather hot when it's switching that, so I use uh, a small fan to keep it cool. It's safer than uh, plugging in things mains sometimes, but I'll finally switch everything over to mains. Right, so that's the amplifier I'm going to be used going to be using to actually um, give you some sound. Here we have another view of the inside of the TV uh, tuner. This is a 5 inch green screen, um, 5 CP1. Antenna input at the top from uh, a socket just on here. Uh, let's say 2 valve tuner. That then goes to the IF stage, which is this one, which is purely a vision IF. Um, no sound in it, that's why I'm building this thing. At the back, the my EHT generator, which does about um, 2 point something kV at the present time. And then we have the time base with height and width controls, and focus, brightness, and X and Y shift and the power supply that does it all. What I've actually done for the sound IF is taken from the IF output from the TV tuner. This is a 1950s style um, VHF only TV tuner. A few words here about what I'm going to use to generate uh, my TV pictures. This is a Hack RF1, one of the earlier um, software defined radio transmitter and receiver units. Uh, it's capable of doing simplex use, transmit and receive. Um, it drives here through a couple of attenuators, just basically so I don't do any damage to any TVs because it is capable of quite a few milliwatts output, about probably 10 to 15 milliwatts output. And then that will go into TV antenna socket. From this I can generate signals with some software uh, called Hack TV, done by a guy called Phil. That will do PAL, CCAM, 405 line, NTSC, um, several video crypt or various bits and pieces. It's become the easiest way I've found to actually generate uh, four or five signals and take saved files from the PC and broadcast them, so, well not broadcast them, plug them into the TV so I can actually receive it and have a good play. Um, there are other methods and I do have other things as well as I do have kit form modulator in the 405 line fixed frequency came from a United States website though I think the design was uh, not from the States but from the UK might be wrong and I've also got what's called a Hedgehog 2 which is giving better pictures than this one will and will allow me to use things like a old Digibox to video output which can then go through the Hedgehog 2 to give me pictures so I'll I tend to use that when I'm doing live TV or you know what I'm receiving offer at that time but for the computer because this is powered from a 5 volt USB port I find this quite convenient okay and here we go let's uh, put a bit of video through from the computer courtesy of the BBC archive it's the potter's wheel yet again I like using this one but this time hopefully 
with some sound. So I'll zoom in and turn the light off so you can see it better on the camera. Started. And the thing will lock in. Come on, lock in. There you go, frame locked. Right, that's the picture. Let's get some sound going now. There we go. Let's give you a minute of this. Okay, and thanks for watching.